time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, September 6th on a Friday. S&P down 97, NASDAQ down 505, Russell down 42, Dow down 458, gold down almost 1%, silver down 3%, notes and bonds a little bit green, 10-year yield down about a half percent, oil down almost 2, natty gas up a little over 1%. All the grains are red, euro and the pound red, Bitcoin down over four and a half percent. VIX has come off its low, uh, come off its highs, but it's a still up 13 and a half percent from yesterday's close, sitting at 22.59. Uh, I did one uh, price action iron condor, hit 2040.60 and out. And then I was in the middle of some stuff, so I didn't, I have not entered any more. Looking to do at least one more here in power hour uh transformed a couple of 1 DTE iron condors into a double double vertical for Monday's expiration so i got that one and this one so combined it kind of looks like this so if we get below, call it 53.25 or above 5,500 on Monday, that would hit max. Uh, let's see, did a little day trading, made a little money day trading this morning. And other than that, I've got my BICs going. Um, I have, I just did, I've just done three tranches, my First one that I entered at 12, uh, just, just afternoon tranches, 12.25 p.m. my time. The uh, put side got stopped. The other two tranches have not. So all good for those right now. Uh, I did just enter a Wooga. And that is on the 5,400 puts and the 5,415 calls. Got filled at 525. That's in a different account. Uh, otherwise, that's all I got for the day. Oh, I hit uh, two Ricks. My early Rick hit 35%. Late Rick hit 45. And that is it for me. Chad, how's your day? Really good. Just just like a lot of days here this week. Mornings and afternoons have been good. Uh, booked a little over 1500 on day trading today. No one DTE. Um, booked 20, 40, 60 and out on AM number one. Uh, my AM number two is about 10 cents away from going 20, 40, 60 and out on it. Um, just entered a power hour trade. I knew I know I said I was gonna be extra careful about power hour, but man, price just really hasn't moved much. So I did enter there. Um, and entered a Wuga, which was the 5400s, 5410s. So five tighter than yours. So for 615. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, I'm going to. So, how many trades did you make today? Normal ones. So three. I'm on my third price action. My first two price action. My PLCs are twenty forty, and I'm about ready to hit sixty and out on my second. So, um, and then, so I'm up about sixty eight hundred bucks if you add in my day trading. 
which is much needed after what happened yesterday. Yeah, I'm going to go in 30 wide here. Yeah, my power hour is the 5420s, 5395s. Got filled for 635 on that one. I got filled at five, uh, well, 475 with my long. So I went a little bit wider, lower premium. Get my uh, stops fixed here. My, uh, so I did some discretionary one DTEs. I did two of them after, you know, obviously we had that, the big move and I waited for things to kind of settle and with the intent to just transform them to remove the risk and into double, uh, double verticals. And the first one I did, I was able to transform within 19 minutes. And then the second one I jumped in, I was able to transform within 45 minutes. So got some nice, quick, stable price action and decay worked out nicely. Now I need a big move over the weekend. Fix one more stop here. Just my profit target. All right. So yeah, quite a flush. Um, <clears throat> you know, we had our uh, had our little jobs report this morning. Didn't get too much um, off of that. I mean, price was kind of bouncing around, and then we had uh, FOMC member Waller speak. Initially, had a little bounce. And then it was all downhill from there. If you look at a pre-market <clears throat> chart of ES. You know, here's the uh, let's see, here's the job, here's the jobs report. Had a little dip and bounce up into the open. I guess it started coming down really from the open. I was thinking it was after after Waller, but here's the Waller bounce right there. It had already flushed a whole bunch. So a little positive reaction at first to the jobs report. And then as soon as the market opened, it was all downhill. I booked about 60% on my Tesla puts and about 35% on Apple and Boeing. Closed those out a little bit ago. It was just like, man, I'm not going to, no need to wait to see if there's more downside next week. I'm just going to book these because they were all three real nice winners. Oh, I did do a, a, a vertical risk reversal in VXX. I talked about this um, during a live stream. So, you know, normally I do verticals on a uh, volatility spike to benefit from when it contracts. Um, but went with a vertical risk reversal here. So, I mean, if, if VXX spikes up to 80 and gets all the way up to that upside break even point i would close it but otherwise if it just kind of stays here i've got a nice flat area i did it for a credit so i got a little bit of a profit all the way up and then if we do contract into the uh, profit area i've got a max profit of a little over 1500 so i think i like doing i think i'm gonna like doing those more than verticals it's because you have that long runway to the upside. Obviously, you've got some risk on a big spike, but you've got that with the vertical too. 
So I'll plan on doing more of those as we see the opportunities. Yeah, the prices uh, were jumping around on me too, Marl. I had to do a little price discovery to figure out where it was trading at first. It'll need a little down move. Uh, Chessmaster, check the option selling trades. I posted it earlier today. Individual stocks, biggest red, AVGO. Did they have earnings? Yeah, they had, they had earnings down 9.5%. Coinbase down almost 8. Tesla down almost 7. SMCI down almost 6. NVIDIA down 4. Meta down three. On the green side, we got GME up five and a half. DocuSign up four. DocuSign had earnings. AMC up three, CMG up two. A few little greenies in there. I will be doing my double calendars today, starting here in about 10 minutes or so. Uh, I'm going to do all my normal ones. I'm going to go a little bit lighter on the 5.7 and 6.7 due to CPI and PPI, but I'll still trade them. I'll do a 4.7. I'll do a 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 4.5. I need to close out one of my ES hedgehogs. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Well, it didn't take long for my power hour to get way off center and my Wooga to get past the break even. So
Need a down move. And stopped on my power hour trade. So <laughs> should have listened to myself. That was a 15 minute trade. I have not got stopped yet, but I'm getting close. Yeah. You know, I, I really liked price movement going into power hour. I mean, it was told myself I need to be careful during power hour. It's been really bad the last three weeks, but you know the price movement was still fine. It looked like it would be okay. So just just ruined a really nice day again. My wooga is way out of whack. The mine's not even that far off center, but it's like they pumped some premium in there. Mine's mine's outside the break even. VIX is contracting. Hmm. Man, that's frustrating. Actually, I think it's all... just an issue on the risk graph. Work all day to be have a really nice green day and gets wiped in 15 minutes. Let's just settle back down a little bit. Man, my last two Woogas during Power Hour have been losers as well. Wow. Stops at nine ten. My spreads at eight sixty five. So any more push up is going to hit me. All right, I'm going to start looking at my five, seven, and six, seven. Five, seven.
Creeping towards my stop. Just creeping. Hoping it doesn't take off to the upside. My wrist graph still makes it look like it's, uh, I mean, it's not that far off center, but for some reason. I was also 10 cents away from going 60% now on my, on my uh, lunchtime number one. So that, that then reversed and got stopped. So 15 minutes wiped out about 3,500 profits. Plus uh, 1,185, I was well over 4,000. All right, five, seven, and six, seven posted. Oh, SPX come back a little bit. That a baby. No, not really off center enough to want to add. Yeah, I won't be entering with uh, 18 point expected move and only be able to get about 20, 20 wide. Wuga is currently down about 10%. Thank goodness for my day trading this week. Day trading paying the bills. Yeah, this week. I mean, this is the worst power hour I've ever experienced. 
this week. Well, last three weeks, but minus 13,300 this week in Power Hour. That is not tradable. That's only three trades. So for next week, I'm in, I mentioned CPI and PPI. CPI is pre-market Wednesday, PPI pre-market Thursday. And that's really all the news we have tomorrow, uh, next week. Nothing on Monday, nothing on Tuesday. There's an FOMC member bar speaking on Tuesday morning, but it's not showing his showing his low impact. Sixteen TLC trades, nine winners, seven losers. Red for the week. I just posted my four seven. All right, so minus 4,460 for the week on TLC and 1DTE. Sorry, guys, just uh, getting, my, getting my calendars grouped up. All right, so kind of stabilized here. Hopefully, I still need a little bit lower. See, I've got my Wuga in my uh, in my Tradier account. Let me put it up here so I can look at it. I am on the fifty four fifteens. My 
I got in at 525. No, well, heading back up. So Wooga needs to go back below 15s. All right, so next up on my calendar hit list is my 3-6. Yeah, Jake M. I mean, big picture. I have nothing to be upset about, but like I've said before, I get I somewhat get frustrated as a the competitive side of me. But really shouldn't have a competitive side when you're trading. That's pretty that can be pretty detrimental. That, that's what induces revenge trading. I've actually I mean, in the last year and a half, I don't I don't revenge trade at all anymore. I did when I first started trading a long time ago. But that was definitely that's definitely been fixed. Yeah, I think it's I think it's okay to not be happy about losing money. I mean, you know, po power hours been the most successful time for me up until 3 weeks ago. So, I mean, it's, it's okay to be frustrated during power hour if that happens, but yeah, you do have to kind of look at the big picture, like Jake said. I guess I can bring my trader over here so you guys see what I'm doing. So when, when I go silent, you know, I'm just uh, not just sitting here. All right, so three, six. I think the I think the most frustrating part for me is is the hours you sit and build a, a profitable day over time over the course of the day and the the amount of time it takes just to completely wipe it. That's that's where the frustration my frustration lies sometimes. All right, three six posted. Hey, Rajan, I saw you just posted in on the uh, uh, Zoom chat. All the all the uh, comments and questions are in the Zero Live chat channel in Discord. I just happen to see a notification, but usually don't check the Zoom chat. But Rajan shares your frustration, Chad. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's the wiping it out is uh that quick. Yesterday was I never experienced anything like it within five within a few minutes. Yeah, that was some nasty slippage. Yeah, it's the quickest I've ever had that much wiped out. So it's just natural to kind of be frustrated whenever you look at your P&L go up all day long, and then within a matter of minutes, it's gone. So four days of trading in September, TLC is in the red. Not as bad as I was in the red the first 
few days of February. I started out in February, my first day of trading, minus $11,905. Well, it's creeping back up. Yeah, it's... I closed my Wuga out too. I closed everything. It was so far off. Trade longer. I've got a little bit more buffer, but not too much. It may go up to where it got rejected. What is that? At uh, 54 27. Pushed up there once today and then came right back down. Ray Jean. Is that what you mean? Is that what you're looking for? Rijan. Is that right? Rijan? Rijan? Rijan. <laughs> now I'm really confused. And getting close to stop, unless we pull back. Okay, okay, it's just teasing me, it's, it's just hanging in there. Like I said, it might... It might get rejected. It got rejected there earlier today at that, at that level. I'm going to go ahead and add here on the 35s and 10s. 10, 25. I'm only doing six lots, so... <clears throat> planned on adding to still stay with a pretty decent size position size. Yeah, you must be living right. Came down for you. Tesla's at lows of day. It's going to be an interesting MO, MOC number. Hmm. 
My profit target's at four. It's trading at 520 still. Still need a little bit more down. A little ping pong action. Yeah, it's it's the price action of ping ponging hasn't been the problem for power hour the last few weeks. It's been the just too big of moves. Closing number for today, I'm going to go with uh, So let's see, tomorrow the uh, four five trading for a three about a three seventy five debit. Is that right? Go a little smaller on that one. Yeah, I'll do my five. Ooh, I got filled at twenty percent. Look at that. Man, you're living right. To not get stopped out on that push up. So I was on the twenty five ninety fives. I was on the twenty ninety fives and got stopped.
Luca's back in business. Well, that's enough, not too far down. A little over 20 minutes to go. Wow, just hit 40%. But my second one needs a little bounce. All right, three five posted. All I have left is a three seven. <clears throat> All right, three seven posted all in with my calendars. All right, now I can pay attention.
There's that little bounce I was looking for. Second one needs a little bounce. I'll be right back. I got to use the restroom before it's Mahomes time. Yeah, when my when my P and L discount when my P and L was pushing six K, I thought about just closing my everything I had left on too and but I didn't. About five minutes from MOC. What will the MOC number be? Buy or sell? I bet it's a buy. That's NVIDIA back down to one. Butterfly only trading for 70, 80 cents. NVIDIA back down to 103. I got in it last time at $99. Might not be a bad spot to get in some NVIDIA. I just hit 20% on my second one. Yeah, I used to not get any info on the MOC. I know. It was, it was better when we didn't know what it was. Yeah. It's nice for Mahomes, though, right? Uh, it really doesn't matter. Honestly. Doesn't matter. No. I mean, obviously, if it's a big number, you're going to see it move, and you're going to kind of know why, but there's not, not anything I would do differently.
Well, I was having a little FOMO missing out on all that choppy price action midday, but making up for it now. About to hit 60% on my first one. I'm going to have to bail soon here. But the butterflies are staying cheap, so I'll stay in. MOC in two minutes. Hit 40%, my second one. So I've hit 40% on both. MOC in one minute. There's a bounce. There is a bounce. Pelosi got the number early. Yeah. I, I got in some NVIDIA calls there when I just a little bit ago, just a few minutes ago there at 103. Well, I was close to hitting 60% on my one. Now I'm getting close to 60% on my second one. And I'm close to getting stopped on my first one. Um, I used Krish. I usually like to go out a few weeks. I used one point two billion buy side. I used the twenty eight day, October fourth. I'm going to get out of this last one, whatever October 4th is. Initial push down. All right, out of my last one. All right. So my home is going to play today. Look at the twenties. No, I think my Wuga would have been a winner. Forgot about my Wuga. Thirty five percent.
Yeah, mine would have been a close to profit target. Working the fives, tens, and fifteens. Got my Wuga order to close at 260. Build. Wuga for the win. Nice. I haven't done a Wuga in a while. All right, five, tens, fifteens. Sitting near the ten. Still pretty cheap. A little over five minutes. Still hanging around tens, but down closer to fives. So I better put on an OO. Too much movement, keeping the flies cheap. A little over four minutes. Cancel my 15s. The O5s don't look very close to filling. Well, hanging around 05. Looks like it's only trading for about a buck 70. Three minutes to go.
Well, Mahomes, he likes to keep it interesting, doesn't he? Right down to the last wire. Looks like we're close on the tens if we pushed up a point. Two minutes. Cancel my OOs. Still not filling on the tens. Minute and a half. He's tired, man. He had a big game last night. Yes, so. Coming up on one minute. I'll cancel my bot. Oh, no. Partial fill on my bot. I'm going to cancel. Twenty seconds to go. Orders canceled. No Mahomes today. Anybody get a fill? I got a two, two of five lots filled in my bot. That's on the tens, so that'll be a small. That'll be a loser. Closing price fifty four oh eight point five six. All right, well, that's a little anticlimactic to end the week, but, you know, better than a loss. I'm loaded up on double calendars. A lot of them are already popping. My 6.7 is up 10%, 5.7 up 8%, my 4.7 is up 3 All right, all. Everybody have a fantastic weekend. Recharge the old batteries. Talk to you soon. Cheers.